Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team U Fork, and today I'm gonna to be taking you through an ab routine to help you get shredded just in time for the summer. This is week 16 of the six months to shredded abs routine, and we are going to be progressing some of the exercises from last week's routine. We're gonna need some mats to lay down on, and we're gonna need a kettlebell. And this is intended for more of an intermediate lifter. If you're somebody who's a little bit more advanced, consider becoming a member because I have the entire six month program outlined on my community tab. Before the exercises, we're gonna be in a supine position, meaning we are going to be laying down on our back. And the first exercise is going to be the abdominal curl up. For this first one, we are going to be progressing the variation from last week. So what we want to do is we are going to flex the knees, place the feet nice and firmly down on the ground, and then we want the arms right down by our sides. For this one right over here, what we want to do is we are going to initiate the movement by tucking the chin toward the chest, and we want to round the spine and create this nice C-shaped curve with our spine. So we're tucking the chin in, and then coming up toward the sky, and then coming all the way back down. So we tuck in the chin, raise the thoracic spine, and then L1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then on the way down, we're going to touch L5, 4, 3, 2, 1, thoracic spine, and head back down to the ground. And that is the abdominal curl up with the knees bent and the arms by the side. For this one, we are going to be doing two sets of 40 repetitions, that's 4-0. And then we're going to move on to the super umbilical external oblique exercise. For this one right over here, we've got the knees in that same position. We're going to cup the arm uh, over the opposite shoulder. And then with the opposite arm, we want to go into a diagonal. So we want the arm roughly mid-thigh between the iliac crest and the patella. And we want to do positive torsion. So we're doing a combination of flexion with rotation. So imagine that you're trying to bring your elbow toward your mid-thigh. And because we're focusing on the super umbilical fibers, we only need to go to the level of the L3 or the umbilicus. So we're tucking in the chin, coming up halfway, and then coming back down. And that is the strengthening exercise for the super umbilical fibers of the external obliques. We're going to do two sets of 40 repetitions. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to move on to the transverse abdominus strengthening exercise. We're going to do two total sets. And for each set, we are, or we're going to do two sets, three passes for each, or sorry, five, five passes for each set. So what we're doing is we are going to inhale, raise the belly up toward the sky. We're going to exhale, let the belly button sink and hold that in. That counts as one pass. We're going to do five total passes. So we're going to inhale and then exhale. That's pass number two. Pass number three, we're going to inhale, keep that belly tucked in. Exhale, try and sink deeper toward the spine. That's pass three, we've got two more. Inhale, keep that belly tucked in. Exhale, let it sink. And we've got one more. Inhale, keep that belly tucked in. Don't let it raise. And then exhale, let it sink deep toward the spine. As much as you can, try and get nice and deep toward the spine. Then we're going to reset by inhaling, allowing the belly to expand, and then coming back in. That counts as one repetition. We're going to do three total repetitions, and we're going to do two sets. So we're in total, we're doing six total repetitions. Each repetition is five passes. Then once we've completed that, we are going to move on to the next exercise, which is going to be the sub umbilical work. And we're going to start with the rectus abdominis. So we've got the hips and knees flexed to 90 degrees. The arms are at the level of the glenohumeral angle, which is roughly 90 to 135 degrees, depending on your morphology. And then for this one, because it's the sub umbilical fibers, we're only going to the level of the L3 or the umbilicus. And we want to bring the knees straight up toward the sky while maintaining that perpendicular position of the femur relative to the ground. So we're going up and then coming back down. First time you do this exercise, you may not be able to get your hips up off the ground if you lack strength, but have the intention of bringing your knees up. As you get stronger, you will be able to lift the butt up off the ground. And that is the sub umbilical rectus abdominis strengthening exercise. Next, for that one right over there, we are going to be doing two sets of 30 repetitions. And then we're going to move on to the sub umbilical external oblique exercise. The arms are going to be in the same position at the level of the glenohumeral angle. We got one thigh at 90 degrees. And then with the opposite leg, we're going to go into adduction, a deduction of 30 to 45 degrees by crossing the leg over the opposite leg. And we're going to do positive torsion once, once again, meaning we're going to be bringing our hip toward the opposite shoulder. And we're only going to the level of the L3 or the umbilicus since we are focusing on the sub-umbilical external oblique fibers. So we're gonna 
bring the hip toward the opposite shoulder. And we are gonna do two sets of 30 repetitions. Once we've completed that, we're gonna move on to the last exercise, which is gonna be one set of 20 repetitions of the thoracic diaphragm strengthening exercise. We're gonna place the kettlebell on the umbilicus or your belly button. You're gonna inhale, raise the belly button up toward the sky, exhale, let the belly button sink deep down toward the spine. So we're inhaling and then exhaling. Once we've completed all 20 repetitions of that, that is it for week 16 of the six months to shredded abs routine. And as a quick recap, we have the abdominal curl up. We're doing two sets of 40 repetitions. Once we've done that, we have two sets of 40 repetitions for the external oblique super umbilical fibers. We have three total sets. Each set we are going to, or two, we have three sets of five passes and we're gonna do two total sets of the three. That's a little bit confusing. So let me reiterate, we have three sets each set is going to be five repetitions. Each repetition consists of five total passes. Once we've completed that, then we're going to move on to the subumbilical work. We have the rectus abdominis subumbilical fibers, where we're going to do two sets of 30 repetitions driving the knees toward the sky. Then we're going to do two sets of 30 repetitions for the external oblique subumbilical fibers, where we're bringing the hip toward the opposite shoulder. Do that for each side. And then we're going to finish off with 20 repetitions of the thoracic diaphragm strengthening exercise. Just one set of that final exercise. But that is it for week 16 of the six months to shredded abs routine. And then next week, I'm going to take you through week 17.